Hey everybody, Glenjamin and Bree here with Tesla Tales. So we've had the car for about a week now and it's been amazing, but there's certainly some things that take some getting used to. So without further ado, here's our top five strangest quirks of owning a Model X. Sounds about right. Okay, let's go. Okay, so our very first thing is the key fobs. While they're super awesome and you're supposed to be able to pair each one of them with a separate driver profile, it doesn't seem to be the case for us and it's probably because I did it wrong. But uh, when I have my key fob and I'm driving the car and Glenn's not here, it doesn't seem to recognize that it's me and it doesn't change things so I have to actually go onto the screen and change my driver profile. And then when it has both of us in the car with both of our key fobs, it just has no idea what it's doing. Yeah, so we'd like for it to at least be able to recognize who is sitting in the driver's seat and who's sitting in the passenger seat. Yeah, right? definitely. Our second weird little quirk that we have is the little door handle or bars, whatever you want to call them, that are above the doors. Um, for me, I like to grab onto them and kind of readjust myself, but in this car, we have these super cool visors. Um, and I'm afraid that one of these days I'm just gonna yank it down as I'm trying to adjust, but um, it's taking some getting used to and it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's a little bit of a quirk for me. All right, number three on our list is that the car is ridiculously quiet. It certainly highlights every creak and moan of the car or of the road, or if you run over a stick, and it starts to make you think that there's something wrong with the car. I've seen a lot of reviews where people think that the the build quality is bad in the car because it makes a lot of rattling noise, and I wonder if they would think the same thing about all their other cars if they could hear them over the engine noise. So it certainly takes some getting used to if you've never driven an electric car to get used to that quietness and being able to hear every little noise that's going on. Yeah, absolutely. Even for me, I can hear when one of us is, is pushing down on the brake or the accelerator or if the visor is rattling just the tiniest bit. So it's, it's a new experience for me. Definitely. All right, so number four, uh, the streaming services on here, while it's cool that it, they even exist, I've never had that before, um, they're a little bit on the lame side. Uh, what do we have in here? Slacker? Yeah, it's, the Slacker Pro account that comes with the car. I don't think it's Pro. I think it's Slacker Plus. Whatever it is. It, <laughs> it's, it's not Slacker great. Worthless, in my opinion. Exactly. Uh, I like to listen to whatever I feel like at any given time, and it's not unheard of for me to want to listen to something over and over and over. So for me to not be able to pick exactly which song I want, or a whole album, or to be able to go back and listen to the song again, it's really annoying. It'd be a lot better if we had Spotify like they do in Europe, so those of you Europeans, if you could figure out how to port that over to us so we could load it, that'd be great. Alright, so rounding out our top five is the ability to open the doors with your key fob. It's amazing that you can open the trunk, you can open the falcon wing doors, you can open the frunk, but you can't open the driver door and passenger door unless you have auto presenting doors turned on. Now, we live in a big city, we park on the street a lot, and if you're like us and you've seen any of those YouTube videos of semi trucks ripping doors off just randomly, then you're justifiably a little bit apprehensive about turning that feature on. So, We've got it turned off right now, and I've got to walk up and get my dirty fingerprints on <laughs> the chrome door piece to open the door every time I want to get in. And it just seems like something that they could split in the functionality so that you could open the doors with your key fob without them opening You know, when you walk up or get near your car. So that's our top five of the strangest quirks of owning a Tesla after one week. Now if you like this video, make sure you go ahead and click the little button down below and like it. And if you're curious about what the five best things about owning a Tesla after one week are, then you should subscribe because we've got that video coming up too. And if you have any of your own things that you think are weird, make sure you comment below and let us know. Okay, so thanks everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.